hello students uh, very good morning in the last uh, video lecture we have discussed about uh, what is mass moment of inertia and uh, what is its uh, equation and uh, what is its unit so today we will discuss two topics uh, the first topic is related to radius of gyration and the second topic is related to moment of inertia of a body with respect to a coordinate axis so let us first talk about what is radius of gyration so let us read the uh, definition what he says it represents the distance at which the entire mass of the body should be concentrated if its moment of inertia with respect to a a dash is to remain unchanged so let us uh, understand what is the meaning of this definition suppose we have a rigid body and we want to rotate this rigid, rigid body about this particular axis the name of the axis a dash a and uh, let us say the mass of the rigid body is m and uh, we have divided uh, uh, this rigid body into n number of uh, small masses and uh, their masses are uh, labeled as delta m1 delta m2 up to delta mn and their distances from uh, axis of rotation a, a dash is uh, given in terms uh, of r1 r2 up to rn now what he says in the definition radius of gyration represents the distance at which the entire mass of the body should be concentrated if its moment of inertia with respect to a a dash is to remain unchanged now in the previous video we have discussed that uh, if we have to find the mass moment of inertia of this particular body then this is the equation that i equal to r1 square delta m1 plus r2 square delta m2 plus up to nth term now he says that uh, if we uh, consider that the entire mass of this particular body is uh, located let us say somewhere over here m and and the distance of that mass from the axis of rotation is let us say is labeled as k and still we get the same moment of inertia then this particular distance at which the mass is located from the axis of rotation that distance will be termed as radius of gyration so he says it represents the distance at which the entire mass of the body should be concentrated if its moment of inertia with respect to a dash is to remain unchanged means earlier what we were uh, doing we were dividing this uh, whole body into n number of masses then we were using this term means we were uh, uh, multiplying uh, the mass of the small element with its uh, uh, with the square of its distance from the axis of rotation and we were doing this for all the masses uh, we have used for this particular uh, body but now he says that if we replace all these masses with a, a single mass let us say m i mean to say let us assume that the entire mass of the body is uh, uh, let us say located at this particular point and uh, distance of that point from the axis of rotation is let us say k and we will call k as radius of gyration if still uh, the moment of inertia by considering this uh, mass m remains same which we calculated earlier with the help of this particular equation so that's why he says i moment of inertia same moment of inertia is equal to k square m in place of r we have used k and we have replaced the small elements by uh, the entire mass of the body m so from here we will get k is equal to i divided by m square root so this formula you should remember for radius of gyration i hope the definition of radius of gyration is clear to you